Good morning, everybody. It's Lynn, the leather bag lady. How are you all today? It's Thursday. Is it Thursday? No, it's Wednesday. <laughs> oh my God, if I had a brain, I'd be dangerous, as my dad says. It's not very nice, is it? Anyway, it's Wednesday today. Date night. But I don't think date night's going to happen. Poor Bruce. He is just all over the place, looking at care homes for his parents and baseball last night that got rained out, but he got to go to his favorite watering hole with his boys. Um, I stayed home and watched TV. I'm addicted to this freaking Hey You channel on Prime. I could sit for a month and never move. <laughs> I'm going to have to get rid of it because I am not being very efficient. That being said, though, I've been cleaning bags. I've been getting stuff ready for everybody that wants to see special things. So, Lisa, I have your bag. Um, Lisa is my friend's daughter who lives in the UK. And uh, she's got a couple of bags already waiting for her in St. Catharines. But she saw another, another bag that caught her eye. So I promised I'd let her see it before I listed it. And um, I've got that ready for you for today. So today's bags are, um, I've got a daily driver, which, you know, um, just a very simple bag, a ton of compartments. I've got a really nice Lucky Brand bag. And then I've got Lisa's bag or the bag Lisa would like to check out. So let's start with the blue daily driver. So this is a navy blue bag by, I'm not sure if this isn't a Canadian company, Fiona. So I'm going to suggest this is an 80s bag. Now, I might need to readjust that because it does look like a little pouch for a phone. So I'm going to say it's probably more of a 90s. So I will have to readjust my listing. It just screams 80s to me for some reason. But it's a really tiny little phone pouch. So it, it'll be 90s. It's not black. It's navy blue. And there are so many compartments in this bag. So check it out. There's one and a zipper. There's a zipper, another zipper. This, these, there's one on the other side. It's kind of a little concealed uh, pocket. Your main compartment, there's a little card holder here. And as I said, that little slip pouch. The same little concealed compartment here and another zipper compartment. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven compartments. Holy crap. So it's got a nice big gusset and you're going to be able to stuff this thing out like crazy. Nice long handle, top handle. It'll, it'll sit really nicely on your shoulder. It's actually a really nice length. So this is just one of those bags that you know, if you want something that's a little different, that's not, um, you know, like everybody else's bag that's out there, um, this one would be for you. And it's a navy blue, not black. So that's bag number one. Bag number two, I really, really like this bag. This is a Lucky Brand patch style. There's your Lucky Brand. I love Lucky Brand. I love the quality of Lucky Brand. I just find it's very close to roots. It's a thicker, thicker leather. Beautiful, real low hanging um, patch style. Just, just love it. And then it's got all these little add-ons. You know, this cute little, uh, you know, pull thingamajigger. And there's some chain on the strap. There's an outside pocket here. There's an outside pocket here. And I like the way everything's different. So there's this kind of pull on this zipper. 
there's this kind of pull on this zipper and then this very elaborate pull on the main zipper. It's just a great bag. The interior is a great fabric. There's your Lucky Brand and a zipper and two slip pockets. These slip pockets are the same. Well, maybe not. No, are they this? I think they're the same uh, with the part. So I've got this bag as very early 2000s. There is a little watermark. Let me take it. There is, I don't know if you can see it. There's a little watermark right there. It's barely noticeable, but my rule of thumb, I'd rather you be pleasantly surprised than what the heck did she send me. It's got a little bit of a gusset, so you're going to get some stuff in here. But this is a bag. Oh, one thing I do need to tell you. I'm not sure what this is. It just looks, I've cleaned it. Everything's been washed, but this, I don't know what it is. It's on the underside of the strap. I like the cotton on the underside because it, it does tend to grab your clothes a little better. Um, and it does adjust. I mean, if you are a shoulder bag person, I'm, I don't know that you would have it this long. Maybe you would, but, um, yeah, so that's bag number two. So these bags are already listed and I will be linking this video to them sometime today. So Lisa, 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 here's your bag. Or here's the bag you like. So, it's maybe a little high for a crossbody, which is too bad. Um, that might be its might be its downfall, actually. Nice shoulder. The strap is really nice. If the strap wasn't so nice, I'd just take it off and make it longer. Or, I mean, if you absolutely wanted to, you could maybe take it to a cobbler. Oh, I'm having a hot flash. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. And um, maybe split it. Maybe get a couple of rings and add a little. I would. I think it's a great bag. You've got, you've got blue and green burgundy and a real kind of patinaed yeah I don't th that's just part that's the grain of the leather and then uh, you've got some funky fabric looks like uh, it's all palm trees and then the interior which has got like kind of polka dots on it I don't know if you can see that there's Kind of a weird, almost looks like a water bottle holder. No pouches for phones. So, I'm not sure that it is. It's a 70s vibe, for sure. Starfish, I've never heard of it. Uh, there is a zipper right here. Um, it's definitely unique. I would, for sure, be doing something funky with the strap. I would and it's it's a folded like it's just a folded leather so the strap is pure leather so what I would do yeah I don't have even so this is this is another bag that that I'm working on right now so even if you to get a ring maybe not that big cut the strap and you know get it attached like that add a piece in the middle and then uh, and if you could get the rings so that they're on either side of your shoulder that way it's not going to dig in or even a scarf you know I've thought about doing that before um adding like a soft scarf with the two o-rings or even taking the strap off altogether and adding like a camera strap which, but I just, the strap is so pretty, it's so decorative, that I think that would be a real shame. Or if you just want to use it as a shoulder, it really is quite comfortable. It sits comfortably with nothing even in it. And then you've got all your colors on the front, which, um, 
you know. So there you go. This this isn't going to be listed until I hear from Lisa. And uh, if she's, if it's just not quite her cup of tea, then I'll, I'll list it. But there you go, young lady. Your mother is going to kill me because I keep putting bags on there that you guys like. So I've been working away on uh, cleaning bags and uh, I'm not sure how much of the war I'm winning. But it's a little cooler today, Leather Bag Lady Weather Report. I've already been out to um, get all my groceries for tomorrow. I am hosting my mom, my dad, and my sister and brother-in-law at the trailer. So I don't, I'm not a hostess at all, at all. And uh, I get very nervous about it. I get very anxious about it because... I mean, my mom's wonderful at it, and my sister and her husband, Dave, are f wonderful hosts. We have Christmas at their place, and I mean, fantastic, fantastic time. I just don't, I don't know, I, it doesn't seem to flow for me. So I'm doing, um, actually, I'm doing pork kebabs. We had the best kebabs, Brad and Jules have a butcher in Thorold, Big Red or something like that. And oh my goodness me, we had, uh, there was two chicken, two beef. And we, um, I mean, it, we weren't supposed to join them for dinner, but we made it stretch. We had some hot dogs and some potato salads and all that kind of thing. But it gave me a great idea. What an easy way to, you know to do this so I went out this morning and I got uh, some pork loin roast pieces and you know my zucchini onion um, mushrooms peppers and I'm gonna put them together uh, I've got I've got some other stuff too so I don't know we'll see we'll see Hopefully the weather is nice tomorrow there is a 40% chance of rain yada yada but you know what if we're going to do it anyway. If it was 90% chance that I would have canceled it. Um, arms still really sore today. Uh, Bruce had nothing. He went off to work today. No problem. But uh, mom and dad were kind of in bed a bit yesterday feeling really tired. So I don't feel any of that. It's just my arms really sore. And, uh, and my brain fog is just menopause and all that crap as well. So um yeah tomorrow's canada day so probably won't get a video from me tomorrow um yeah so happy canada day and i can't believe it's july already oh we had a crazy storm last night oh my goodness me it got so dark i had to put the lights on uh that was around supper time and bruce was supposed to go and do the baseball thing and they pretty well had to cancel it and nobody showed up because why doesn't people let people know I mean two seconds to shoot a text and say you know is it still happening whatever but they ended up going to uh, Chuggies and having uh, we are uh, we are beer and wings and brought some wings home for me <laughs> I love wings so that's it uh, have a great day I don't think I've got anything else to talk to you about um, the neighbors in front have got their huge pop-up on the front lawn. Looks like Beverly Hillbillies here. I don't know. Stinks. They've got three dogs. They don't walk them. They piss and crap all over the deck. And, just, and they just, oh, they wash it. They clean it. But they wash it and hose it down right all in my driveway. Well, it's not my driveway. They own the driveway. Oh, I weeded yesterday. My finger. See that? I think the glove... I don't know. It gave me like blood blisters on my finger. Yeah, my nails aren't doing too good. That actually, the length of them, I'm having to file them all the time because the the gel is preventing me from picking at them. But then picking my skin again. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's about it. If you're not celebrating Canada Day, then you know I know the country is kind of not sure they want to celebrate it because of the issues with the indigenous uh, children that are being found, the unmarked graves. I mean, what do you say? Um, 
I mean, it was hundreds of years ago, well, maybe not quite that long ago, but the founders of these institutions were, I mean, I think it's, it's a long, long time ago and it doesn't make it right, but um, I don't know, I have mixed feelings about it. I, mom, mom's been knitting uh, booties and putting them on her balcony uh, out of you know respect and I think there's stuff that we can all do um, but still you know maintain the pride and um, pleasure that we have living in a wonderful country so that's just my opinion I guess it's easy for me to say not being in any of those um, culture categories or whatever anyway I'll shut my mouth so I will talk to you Probably not even Friday, because we're going to Wasega Beach on Friday with Blair and Carrie. Thanks, Carrie, for all the bathing suits. Um, yeah, a couple of snug ones. Hopefully the gym's open soon, and we'll be able to uh, get this body back to where it was last year. But anyway, I will see you guys on Friday. Can't wait, Blair. We're going to have some fun. Anyway, take care, everybody. Have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye.